Hello guys, uh, this is Jay from JS Films and today I'm going to be teaching you how to load up your Blackmagic Cinema camera footage to your computer. Um, we're going to go to Resolve and we're going to go create some proxies to go to Premiere, edit in Premiere, come back to Resolve and then um, go to back to Premiere then go to After Effects. Okay, uh, This is the current workflow I'm using right now. Uh, thanks to Jesse for making a video on how to do the round trip but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just start from the beginning and um, pretty much just show you, show you how to take your raw image or raw footage and um, color correct them and export them and edit them and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get started uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my footage here that I shot over the weekend uh, called the C strike. Uh, spare with me here. Come on. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this shot right here of me, or not me, of Ben Affleck shooting some zombies here. So the first thing you want to do is obviously, if he's shot in brawl that's really not raw so the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead to your um go ahead down here click on uh, camera raw settings change your project to clip and change this to BMD film so now let, you're gonna get your raw footage here as you can see it's pretty flat um, the next thing I usually do is just turn it up to just get like just close to the proper exposure that's the only bad thing about this camera oh bad thing about this camera is it's hard to get proper exposure without using any tools or anything like that so usually just you know go ahead and that looks pretty good to me um, then the next thing I do is I just apply a LUT on it as a 3D LUT um, I really like this area Alexa Log C to Rec 709 I really like that look so I usually apply it there and then I would go ahead and do my color correction or stuff like that or just my first color correction just roughly really just don't want any I don't want too much highlights clipping and stuff like that blah 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 so the next thing I'm gonna do with this is actually take this to um to premiere so I can cut it and edit it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a couple more shots um I'm gonna take a couple more to so okay then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing change it to BMD film change that clip to BMD film okay so now it's gonna have that LUT applied to all of it so it's not gonna look really raw so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and create proxies for this so we can uh, edit it um, in Adobe Premiere so what I'm gonna do is click on deliver and I uh, well just click on none I guess because you're just starting out but what you're gonna want to do is create a uh, QuickTime H.264 um, set the compression quality to low or medium my computer can take medium so that's fine um, you want to do it as individual source clips because if you don't if you don't click that it's gonna be baked into one file so you don't want that uh, go ahead and tell your resolve where you want that footage to be or the, um, the proxies see here on desktop tutorial and I'm gonna go ahead and name this folder proxy proxy the snowman okay so um that's pretty good right there uh, just make sure this render each clip with unique unique file name is good mm, medium is good QuickTime is pretty good and then just go ahead and uh, set your in and out points. Click on the first frame, first clip. Click, click this right here. Go to your last clip. Go to the end of that clip, and click the end frame. All right. Now you can add your job. Start render, and I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and continue it. Okay. So now that you have your proxy saved to your desktop, we're gonna go ahead and go to Adobe Premiere. Voila. 
Um, and then the th next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and find your proxies. And these are the proxies, as you can see. They're really small, 8.76, and your computer shouldn't have any freaking problems loading these up and playing this, like, just, you know, nonstop and stuff. Um, I do have pen Pension 4, whatever, it should run real well. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load these guys up here, put them here. And this is when you actually start cutting your uh, clips. You know, like say, yeah, this guy's he's gonna shoot something, he's gonna say some clever, and then he's gonna walk away. And then, you know, I'm probably gonna cut it there. And then, um, I'm just gonna do a rough cut here. And then, you know, he's gonna walk there, blah, blah, blah. Then he's gonna grab this guy's hand, you know, like that. And then you're gonna cut into when he's actually grabbing that guy's hand. But at the same time, Okay, that don't make sense because I did it wrong, but let's just say boom like that. So that's pretty much the rough cut of it. Um, you can't. I haven't tried doing any transitions or anything, so I mean I don't usually use transition transitions, but so here's the cut. This guy's walking, grabbing some dude, and now what you have to do is actually go ahead and save this. Control S. Okay. And this is just a regular timeline, 19, 20, 10, 80, 24p, 44, or whatever hertz. And then what you're going to do is actually export this as a Final Cut Pro XML. And what I'm going to do is actually just put it wherever I have everything else. I'm not going to name it Husky, but I'm going to name it Ben. Click that, save, awesome, fantastic. Now the next thing you're going to do is switch over to Resolve, okay? You're going to go to your uh, Conform. Uh, conform button tab here and what you're gonna do is actually you're gonna go to file and you are going to go import AF AX blah blah XML and um go to your desktop find that XML this is the Ben XML and this next page is really important so whatever you're doing stop doing it and actually look at this right here um go ahead and alt tab but really you have to uncheck this right here is automatically import source clip because if you don't the freaking ugly proxies you have will be loaded to resolve and that's what you're gonna be working with so go ahead and uncheck that press ok and then you're gonna have a new timeline here this is your old timeline this is your new timeline this is the timeline with the cut with with the cut that you did on premiere so you see that that's pretty awesome. And it's the original clips because you uncheck that check mark there. And from here, what I would usually do is I would go to my color and this is what I would do everything, man, make it all pretty and stuff like that. This is where you, you know, I crush your blacks and lift your whites and then just do your blockbuster whatever look and log and stuff like that. You know, make it look good. You know, add some contrast on it that looks fantastic and uh, after you're done with that um you're gonna want to bring it back to um to premiere so what you need to do is after you're done colorizing everything and you know spending so many hours in here you go to deliver and what we're gonna do is we're gonna export it back to premiere after you're done coloring it and then we're gonna bring it to after effects so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create click the ec setup button and click Final Cut Pro XML round trip because we're gonna round trip it to Premiere and then bring it to After Effects. So let's go ahead and render QuickTime, QuickTime on Compress RGB 10 bits, cool 24 bits, cool render audio if you really want to. Um, and then we're, I'm gonna change the subfolder to complete tid color correction. All right, so that's cool right there, data burning, whatever, your mama. Uh, render each clip with a unique file name this is important now because if you don't click this you're gonna have a mess because they're all gonna have the same file name so go ahead and click that uh, enable flat pass off uh, then the same thing earlier is go ahead and set your in and out points and it's pretty much like schwang schwang like that okay and then you just add the job all right and then you press ok and then you press start render and I'll be right back Okay, so now that it's done rendering, um, we're going to do one more thing in Resolve. What we're going to do is we're actually going to export this here, and we're going to export it so we can go back to um, Premiere Pro or, yeah, Premiere Pro. So you're going to go to your Conform tab, 
button here and you go to file you're gonna go export to AF XML awesome and then you make this whatever you want like complete yeah and you save it okay and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to Premiere right you're gonna go import that thing you just saved right now which is compl compl you click on that right and it's gonna ask you hey where the heck is the where are the uh, movies or the files so you just go to completed CC which is the one that you just exported out you click on the first one you select it and then you there's gonna be a folder here in Premiere and you just click on it and you click on sequence resolve and boom holy there it is final color grade pretty saturated however you want and it that's it right there okay and now what you want to do with this is let's say you want to add like a gunshot effect you can't even freaking see the gun anymore and it's really slow because i'm running like four freaking things on my computer um the next thing you're gonna do is save this right so save awesome save that and then you're gonna go to after effects what you're gonna do in after effects is you're going to go to file import Adobe Premiere project and then you're gonna find your project somewhere wherever you save it at everyone has their own um, I think it's husky and you're just gonna imp import the one that you got earlier or you save from resolve okay so go ahead and there it is oh man that's freaking awesome all right now from here you do everything else um, you do your visual effects whatever and then you do your final render from here now um, this is the current workflow I'm using right now um, if you have any other workflow uh, with the Blackmagic Cinema camera please let me know if it's better but this is the workflow that I am using and it's working good so far um, you know it's pretty good quality but I know there's a lot of complicated things that I still need to learn uh, I didn't go to school for this I just went Google and stuff um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you go from your Blackmagic Cinema camera to Resolve to Premiere, back to Resolve, back to Premiere, and to After Effects. Um, whenever I'm done editing, then I just go ahead and complete this and then just upload it on YouTube or whatever. So hopefully you guys learned something because, yeah, I gotta take a shower. Peace.